Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. Welcome to Integrated Science. This is 8th grade science at Redeemer Christian School, and this is an incredible science course. We're going to be doing a little bit of uh, introduction today and a little introductory video. That way it shows you what's going to happen so that day one we can get right into work. We can enjoy our science from day one. and We don't have to go through all these, these little things. Uh, we can just get right to our science. So what is this integrated science course going to be? Well, we're going to be doing physics, we're going to be doing chemistry, and we're going to be doing biology. And so this will really prepare you for high school at Redeemer Christian High School, which ninth graders take physics, 10th graders take chemistry, 11th graders take biology. Okay, And so this gives you a really good introduction into all of these sciences and really helps you out big time. Uh, what are you going to need for my class? Well, you're going to need a notebook, a uh, calculator, dry erase markers. We do a lot of whiteboarding, so you do need dry erase markers. You can see the calculator. A great suggestion for a calculator is the TI-30X2S, which is this calculator right here. Um, it is about $12. It's really cheap, and it does everything, and you'll kind of want it for the rest of high school as well. And it's a great introductory calculator that doesn't cost a lot. Uh, what? How am I going to grade? Okay, well, grading is really easy. 50% for tests, 50% for homework. 50% for tests, 50% for homework. What does that mean? If you do all of your homework and you do your homework perfectly, guess what? Um, you are going to be able to fail every single test at the lowest grade possible, and you could still get a 75, a C. Okay, which means homework is a huge component to your grade, so make sure you do your homework. Let me show you how you do your homework in my class. Uh, you can hopefully see is we're going to be doing everything off of my own website, which is MrAyton.com, M-R-A-Y-T-O-N.com. Make it a bookmark. Make it your home page. Make it your favorite website you can possibly have. You can see you're going to click on this little drop-down menu, and all my classes come up as well as uh, how to contact me through a contact page. But you can see at the end, bottom right-hand corner, we have Integrated Science. So you're going to click on Integrated Science, and that is going to be our website, our web page assigned to our classroom. You can see uh, it's categorized into Semester 1 and Semester 2. Semester 1 is on the left-hand side, Semester 2 is on the right-hand side. Uh, you can see right here, off uh, right at the beginning, Every single homework assignment, every single test, all their dates are all already up on MrAiden.com. So you know what you're, you have in front of you the entire year. You can see right here, uh, Unit 1 is measurement. If you click on this measurement review sheet, if you click on that, it is all the notes that we would have in class. Okay, so all of your notes are right there for you. So if you somehow miss class, you're not going to miss notes. It's all right there for measurement review sheet. You can see week one. You know what your homework is for week one. Uh, we have a what's called a safety contract. We're going to be doing a lot of labs in our class, so we need a safety contract. You're, I'm going to give you this safety contract day one. So day one, you're going to get this uh, Flynn Scientific student contract. It is a contract for you to sign as well as your parents. And you can see right here, you're going to have to take a safety test. You can do this now before school ever begins. You're going to have to take a safety test. That safety test is going to be your first homework grade, your first homework assignment. You can see if we click on the safety test, all the safety test questions are right here. Okay. Well, guess what? Where you're going to put in your answer set safety test is right where it says chemistry student lab safety test answer sheet. So you click on that and you can see it says Redeemer Christian Laboratory Safety Test. You're going to put in your last name. You're going to put in your first name. And then what class? Your eighth grade integrated science two. Okay. And so we click next and you can see there's going to be the test right here. Uh, question number one, flammable materials like alcohol should never be dispensed or used near what? An open flame. Alcohol is going to set on fire. Okay, and so you're going to go through and you're going to click all of your answers for the laboratory safety test. And you're going to get a grade. Okay, and now if you want to take it over, you make sure you get all those answers correct. If you don't know what the answers are, go back to the safety contract. All of the answers are are right here in this safety contract. All Again, all of the answers are sitting right here in this safety contract. Okay, And so you want to make sure you do that safety test. Now, 
when we when school starts, uh, our first week of school, you can see it says due 820. 820 is Thursday of the first week of school, which means you have all week to do your homework, your week one homework. Uh, you have all week to do it. You just have to turn it in by Thursday night at midnight. How do you do that? Well, you're going to go right here where it says week one homework. You click on that and it brings up a PDF of your week one homework. You can see week one's homework. Most of your homework assignments are about 10 questions or so. Where do you put in your answers to these 10 questions? Well, if you go back to MrReading.com and you come over to where it says week one homework answer sheet, you click on that and guess what? You can put in your answers, okay? Now, as you put in your last name and first name, and then you put in your answers. So let's, uh, I'm just going to put in A, 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 A for all my answers. Those aren't the correct answers. And you can see, as I put in my, correct, my answers, I press submit. And when I submit, it says view your score. You click on view your score, and it brings up, I got 2 out of 10, which means 2 of my answers were A. 2 out of 10. You can see... Then it says question number one, I got it wrong, and there's a big X by it. Question number two, I got it wrong, and it'll tell you which problems you got wrong, which problems you got right. You can do two submissions, which means you can go back and resubmit. You can look at how did my, I get my answers wrong, and you can resubmit, and you can do all of your homework that way. So you're going to input all of your homework on the Internet. Okay, by Thursday night at midnight. You can do it any day of the week. You can do it every day. You can do it however you want. It's up there for you. And you can see I even give you the date of our Unit 1 measurement test. Okay, So everything is there for you on MrReading.com for all of your homework as well as when all of your tests are. I have three main things that we we make sure we do in class is these three things. Number one is is demonstrating love towards God and towards one another. You can see Mark 12, 29 and 31. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, your, all your soul, all your mind, with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. This is what we're going to do in class, and we're going to be able to do this um, from your love towards me, my love towards you, your love towards each other. We're going to demonstrate love towards God and towards each other. Uh, the second expectation of mine is be accountable. Okay, You can see I've already given you every single homework assignment is right there for you the entire year. Every test is right there for you the entire year, which means you are accountable to it. You are accountable. I've done all the work on my end. You do all the work on your end, and I will do anything possible to help you out, which means you want to learn to understand. You want negative entropy, which is a fancy term for don't be disorder, and be on time, okay? Be on time for everything. You be in accountable for yourself and for others as well, okay? And last but not least, be fearless to do your best. Be fearless, okay? Colossians 3.17 says this, Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. It's okay to be wrong in my class. It's okay to mess up. It's okay to get questions wrong. I'm I'm all about getting questions wrong. Be fearless to do your best and because that is what the gospel says. The gospel says do all of your work for the Lord Jesus Christ because he has been so gracious to all of us um, and so gracious to us. So I can't wait to uh, start class day one. I can't wait to teach you guys and looking forward to it. I'll talk to you guys soon. See you guys in a few days.